Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. So, you're looking at my big spaceship as you really love it. And I'm pretty sure everyone's like, oh my god, this thing is so amazing. Yes, I do agree. Uh, yeah, so there was a few slight uh, mishaps and a few other things that kind of happened. Uh, yeah, so... This docking five thing, very, very strange. Uh, you can see in the, you know, I got four around the outside and one on the inside. Yeah, the weirdest thing is like sometimes it works and other times it doesn't work. It's just the weirdest, like on this back end here, the weirdest thing happened. If it's, it was docked up on all five but only three engines worked on the ba on the back of it. So then I started undocking a bunch of them, and, uh, yeah, it started working, like, the engines. I, I undocked, like, three of them, and then all of a sudden the engine that didn't work started to work again. I, I don't understand what the problem is. If somebody can, you know, fill me in on, you know, the gist of it or something, because I'm sure there's some kind of an explanation that I just have no idea about, but we have the Jewel 10 completed. Now, I didn't, I have done a little bit of testing on it, and, you know, I didn't really want to, you know, show testing of a really big spacecraft that I built that doesn't work, and this thing does work. It's actually working very flawlessly, to be honest. Other than that little engine mishap, everything else has been perfect. Now, you can see... You know, I got four, or I mean, I got eight of uh, these little probes, and I have two manned landers. Yes, manned. Now, you know, judging by the name of it, I don't really need to describe on where it's going. And this is awesome. It's actually getting really close to the space station, I think. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't really need to describe where it's going. The only thing I'm actually somewhat sort of concerned about is whether or not it's going to make it there. Or make it there and back. Which is uh, an optionary thing at this point. As long as it gets there, I'll be happy. Uh, it might be a change to mission where I end up just going to like... Tylo or... or not Tylo, but whatever that one is called. That's like It's basically like an asteroid. Uh, let's see, let's zoom out here. Is that Tylo? No, Drez. I might be going to Drez or something. And very possible, possible I might check out Elu. I don't know. Um, if anything, I'll get in orbit, you know, on, uh, or on Jewel, if I can get there, whatever. And, uh, you know, if uh, Elu makes a pass by, especially with something like this, I would definitely just, you know, take a chance to go there. So, yeah. Um, this thing is pretty amazing to me. Um, it's the funniest thing, because it's just, you know, like two months ago, I would have never thought to build something even, like, remotely as awesome as this. Now, there is no service ports on this thing. Um, I won't be able to refuel it. But, you know, what I'm figuring, you know, if anything, I can probably undock one of these and then just put, like, a docking port on a stick and then just kind of stick it in there and, you know, do its business. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, uh, hmm. What else? You know, I'm noticing that these uh, solar panels, I, I thought I should have... Uh, if anything, not put solar panels and just completely remove them and put just the nuclear gens because I am producing insane amounts of power for no reason, pretty much. I mean, it works, but, you know, right now, you know, I got all these fancy lights on there. And this thing has an insane amount of fuel, too, for being in space. You know, 1,700 RCS... You know, roughly 6,000, 6,5 oxidizer and 6,2 liquid. It, this thing, I hope, can make it there. 
I'm um, sorry for the slideshow, guys. I know that my last video really wasn't the best when it came to, uh, you know, the video side of it. But this thing, once again, I have to tell you, is a lot of parts. Isn't very efficient, but I wanted to make something that just looked amazing. So, looking amazing means it has lots of parts. Uh... You know, I, I still don't like these solar panels. There's just, I, I don't know, I don't like them. I, next one isn't, I don't even, depending on what it's going to be, probably isn't going to have solar panels. But I might recreate one of these or something similar. I'm also thinking of some kind of design that's almost the same as this, but it will move a space station instead. I really, really would love to move a fully, you know, maybe not like a fully built space station, but you know, big enough to where it, it does its job, but at the same time, I don't have to go and attach more parts to it and everything else to make it a complete space station. Well, I've really ran, uh, gone on a big rant here. Uh, I believe I have a, uh, you know, I, I believe I should, uh, you know, start heading to Jewel now. If anything, uh, I think this thing will make it there, and uh, I'll keep you updated. Um, I'm probably gonna do, you know, maybe some, you know, test burns and stuff like that tonight, and uh, you know, try to get it out of, uh, you know, Kerbin orbit and everything else, and try to get it into uh, a uh, Kerbal over it orbit. And uh, try to get it all the way to Jewel tonight. I will keep you updated as far as the, the trip and how everything's going. I might shoot like a little travel video of getting there or something. But I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, now once I get to Jewel, every moon on Jewel will be visited. Every single one, regardless of... Uh, size and distance everything else i'm probably going to send uh some of the probes down i'm probably going to put a probe down on the lathe and i know a lot of you guys might not like that but i want to return if i have a possibility of returning i want to return with all my kerbals uh the other moons and stuff uh i will probably do manned missions on every moon uh the now, if I have enough fuel and, you know, time permits, Elu will be visited. I, I don't know if it has a uh, atmosphere or, you know, whatever, but everything around Jewel will be visited and landed on. And, you know, I'll probably have a, a video for each one, each landing, something like that. And, uh, you know, I'll uh, let you guys know. So, anyways, guys, uh... If you guys want to keep updated on when I release videos, I know it's a little bit crazy for me. Sometimes I release them really late at night. Uh, I try to do a video every day, and I mostly have been. You know, there might be one day every two weeks where I don't. So if you want to keep updated when I release my videos, uh, you know, subscribe. Su subscribe on, you know, Twitter. I'll post uh, when I release videos and uh, on Facebook as well. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you next time.